We got a lot going on today. We got new shiny Pokemon, new Pokemon, and we got a lot of things to take care of. Let's hop right into it. Let's finish up the Carbink timed research. I got it all done. It was fairly easy. And we have two encounters here. I don't know what one of them is going to be. Uh, it's an Onyx for some reason. But I do know, I'm pretty sure, the second encounter is going to be the all new Carbink, which is going to be a pretty relevant PvP Pokemon. So I'm excited to grab it. Hopefully, I get a good one. 459. Onyx is uh, not great, honestly. But here we go. Let's finish up the new timed research in the rough. Let me know the comments if you guys have finished this off and now we get the all new carbink in pokemon go 608 cp this could be the hundo for all i know i have zero idea we're gonna silver pine that bury that because we only have one encounter with it for now i have no idea how we're gonna obtain more in the future but this is our only chance so hopefully it's a good one but let's go ahead and throw it in the pokedex starting the adventure off with the pokedex is always an awesome thing so there we go bada bing bada boom carbink first one ever ladies and gentlemen it's a two star. Oh, it's a three star. Sorry. 13, uh, 12, 12. Not too great. Not too bad. I guess I'll take it. There's my one and only shot. Carbink and Pokemon Go. Nice. Again, let me know if you guys got this guy. I'm honestly not too familiar with this Pokemon. I've never done this before. Let's check the Pokedex on it. It's the jewel Pokemon born from the temperatures and pressures deep underground. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, cool. Looks cool to me. I don't think it has an evolution at all. So Carbink. Nice. I'm curious, what does this Pokemon max out at? 1604. So you're going to have to use some XL candies if you want to use it in the Great League. Um, not too many, but still a lot. Too many. Actually, I guess, yeah, too many. So good luck with that. And speaking of research, before we get into all the stuff we have today, we actually have finished up the collection challenge. For some reason, I don't know if they changed the event at all, but it's about 6 p.m. And I'm getting a bunch of nighttime spawns right now. Like on the way here, I saw a lot of Lunatones, Venipedes, and Fungus, and, I, and, and a Phantom too. And I know those are the night spawns. Not going to be a shiny phone. Mantis right there. Still don't have this shiny. I'd like to get it, but whatever. But I kind of feel like they altered the event a little bit uh, because I am seeing a lot of them today, which I'm very, very down for. Mantis sucked. No worries. That is it for our time research, but we can move on with the all new Shadowy Disturbance special research, which is going to lead to us getting our Shadow Regirock in Pokemon Go, which I'm very excited about. So let's claim these rewards and see what we're going to get. 1500 dust, some XP, and an encounter with a Graveler. Why? Speaking of Graveler, I have been doing many battles with the new Team Rocket leaders trying to get that shiny shadow geo dude i am like 0 for 5 right now on the new leaders but i usually have really good luck in the first week or so so maybe we can make something happen graveler is not too bad great budget rock type attacker okay what do we got to do now and oh wow all we got to do is defeat the three team leaders speaking of which and then we get the super rocket radar and we can get to reggie rocking all right that was okay nice i'll keep an eye out maybe we can get some of this done today as far as the uh cosmog special research goes still really i mean the catching pokemon is easy but i'm just not really trying too hard on it because I still got to earn 10 candies with my walking with my buddy. Um, and then I also got to win five raids, but I just haven't really been raiding much. I've done a few Nihiligos, but nothing really too much. And honestly, the shadow raids, where the heck have they been? I feel like there needs to be more shadow raids because I'm really excited and I want to do them, but they're just not really ever around. But very cool. We got the all new car bink in Pokemon Go. I'm glad we got that done. Mine wasn't too great, but hopefully uh, we'll definitely get more chances in the future, I hope. As a matter of fact, let me actually buy some rocket radars really quick just so I can have them out in case we run into any of them today. Let me see if there's going to be one around us. I know a lot of people don't care, but I actually want Shadow Reggie Rock, so I'm excited. Uh, cool. There isn't a single rocket leader anywhere around me, like in a in a friggin' five mile radius. Great. Anyways, we have some incredibly exciting news about new Pokemon, new shinies, and all that kind of stuff, so let's get into it. A new event has been announced, the Dark Flames event. Let's talk about it. So first things first, we have the debut of the brand new Pokemon, Turdinator, which I'm already gonna assume is gonna be a good PvP Pokemon, or it's only gonna be useful in PvP, but it's exciting, and it's gonna be debuting with its shiny, which we don't often get, so that's pretty awesome, and it's got a pretty amazing amazing shiny let's be honest so i'm very very excited about this also like we all thought and predicted mega sableye makes its pokemon go debut yes sir oh sorry this event's starting on june 29th and ends on july 2nd so a three to four day event very very short but uh, i do want to talk about the dates of the event i am excited for it brand new shiny turninator now hey this is your best opportunity to get shiny turninator so you only got three ish days four days to make it happen this is going to be a very exclusive and rare pokemon rare shiny pokemon for sure in the Wild. We have Vulpix, Houndour, Puchiana, Galarian, Zigzagoon, Carvana, Numel, Stunky, Litwick, Litten, Houndoom, and Sableye, most of which can be shiny. And keep an eye on uh, Litwick as a very, very useful Pokemon. And then Houndoom, don't forget, can be shiny. And of course, Sableye, now that we have Mega Sableye. Awesome. Okay, I can't squat for that long. In one star raids, we have Sneasel, Darumaka, Scraggy, and Dino. I will be doing those Dino raids. Please send them my way. Three star raids, Alola Marowak, Flareon, Umbreon, and Turtonator. So Turtonator will be available in raids. Hopefully, research is 
well. I'll have to keep reading here. Uh, five star raids, Heatran is back. I actually, hold on. I need to 50 max this 100% IV Heatran I've been saving for, uh, man, for years now. I caught this three years ago. I need a 50 maxes. So if you guys get Heatran raids, please send them my way. I think I need to do a lot of them. I need a lot more XL candies to 50 maxes, but I'm excited for this guy to come back. I feel like it's been a while. Beautiful shiny too, right? Where's it at? Right there. Also, Heatran is gonna have a brand new move called Magma Storm. New charge attack that is 65 damage in PvP and 75 in gyms and raids. And of course, again, in Mega Raids, the all new Mega Sableye. I have no idea how useful that's gonna be, but I know it's gonna be awesome. It's a very, very cool Pokemon, so can't wait for that. Event bonuses are pretty solid too. Additional 25% XP for completing raids. Three additional candy for completing raids. Trainers level 31 and above will receive an additional XL candy for completing raids. Love that. Is that for all raids or in-person only? I'm not sure, but I, I like it either way. Team Rocket Grunts using Fire and Dark type Pokemon will appear more frequently, so keep an eye out for Shadow Torchic, which is gonna be really solid. And in terms of dark ones, I can't remember the good ones right now. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. And then also there's gonna be a time research where we can choose a path. I love these time researches. And you can choose a path to either attract more fire type or dark type Pokemon on your incenses for this event. I don't know what I wanna go for. I feel like the dark shinies are harder to get, but there's a lot of fire shinies I really like. So uh, we'll have to see what I end up picking. And there's gonna be time to research uh, where you can get a premium battle pass, 15,000 XP and encounters with event themed Pokemon. That's very, very nice. And then that is where you can choose your path for the incense. Okay. Okay, cool. In field research tasks, you can encounter Turdinator. So it's gonna be available in research and gyms only. Make sure you guys try to get one. It's a great shiny and you have a limited amount of time. Alola Meowth, Alola Grimer, Marowak, Magmar, Sneasel, Litwick, and Turdinator will be available in field research. Pretty solid options, all shiny of eligible and all, uh, well, most of which are pretty rare or useful. And of course, a collection challenge as well that's gonna reward you with 5,000 XP and 100 Houndoom Mega Energy. Why not Sableye Mega Energy? It's literally the new Mega that's coming with this event, no? Okay, that's weird, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I guess Houndoom might be more more uh, more useful. But yes, the all new Dark Flames event is coming. I'm excited. Here is the heat trend I'll be working on. And then in terms of Sableye, I've always wanted a Hundo, but I don't have a Hundo actually. I do have a shiny Shadow Extra Extra Small, which is insane. Um, I do have this very, very, rare lucky costume Sableye from Halloween a few years back, but I don't have a hundo. So if I can secure one during this event, that'd be awesome. I'll probably end up, ooh, I'm gonna mega evolve this one, dude. Yes, and as you can see, the mega evolve button is already there. Again, we knew Mega Sableye was coming. They kind of leaked it on, on accident. Uh, so we knew it was coming, but it's still awesome. And it is so gosh darn cool. That's all very exciting, but we got a lot of things to work towards right now. We have all this regular research and we have all this special research to work towards. So let's go ahead and pop our daily incense right here right now we got windy weather maybe we'll get a legendary bird but either way we got research to work on so let's do it okay it took a full minute to get a spawn and it's a non shiny whooper and our second spawns a weasel not shiny as you can see though you guys saw those lunatones right there's nighttime spawns already and it's so daytime I do feel like they alter the spawns just a tad bit because I saw a lot of people on Twitter complaining including myself I guess so I am not mad about it the collection challenge was uh I mean it was easy but it took me a couple days to finish and here we go lunatone on the incense speaking of which oh here we go 10 kilometer egg out of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an Arcan, not a shiny. Let's check IVs on it while we're here. 1035 is a three star. Okay, nice. Okay, now I have to not spin any stops because I got to get 12 kilometer eggs going. And we got a spinner rack. No, not on the incense, but boy, do I love a wild Charmeleon. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, Gengar, not shiny. Yo, I had to click that so fast. Oh my. That's only the second Gengar I've ever, whoops, that's only the second Gengar I've ever, yo. I've only seen Gengar twice ever on the incense. Uh, the first time was just like a few days ago too, or last week or whatever. Uh, hello, that could have been shiny. GG's Gengar, how we doing? What an epic spawn, 10, 10, 11, okay. Oh my God, wild right here. Dude, what? is that? That is the craziest back-to-back -back I've ever- well, that's not true. I had back-to-back -back Galarian birds, but that is insane, and it's gonna run. Okay, am I recording? Oh, thank god, dude. What is that? That is the second coolest back-to-back -back I've ever had. Back-to-back -back Galarian Articunos is pretty amazing, but back-to-back -back Gengar and Rhyperior? What's next? An Oddish. You know, that was insane. That was all live too. You guys saw that. Oh my gosh. 
Whoa! And check this out, a wild spoink. Oh my gosh. Seriously, what the heck was that about? They weren't even weather boosted. Oh my gosh. And I was just complaining a few days ago how the incenses have been so uh, lackluster as of late. Never mind. And we're keeping it going with a wild diglet. Oh my gosh, the crowd goes wild. And a mischievous on the incense. No. Here we go, Lunatone. Ah. And look at that, a Sneasel spawn. That's crazy, because I was literally just finishing up catching a wild Sneasel, and then we get one on the incense. I'll count that as a rare spawn. You know what, that is a rare spawn. That's literally part of the event, and it's like the in the if you're lucky section, so nice. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that just ran away, okay. Fomantis, please. Man, there's so many Fomantis out today. I feel like the shiny just wants me to get it, but my luck has not been great. And speaking of which, Fomantis is on the incense, but not shiny. And we got a wild Phantom, love that. And there's another one right here. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, sorry, Phantom, I love you, buddy. Got to check the Fomantis, no. And here we go, another Weasel on the incense. Why? Okay, not shiny Fungus, no worries, no worries. Ooh, another, uh, oh wait, Beautifly. Hello, I thought that was a Phantom. Spinarak, such a great shiny, I would love another one. Oh, I think I need another one. Oh, and there goes the Spinarak, okay, I've lost two Pokemon today. Fenipede, I still don't have that shiny, till this day, I gotta get it one day, right? All right, this might be our last spawn, Lunatone, not shiny. What a gosh darn incense that was, bro. Rhyperior, Gengar, Charmeleon, Beautifly, uh, I mean, hello. Oh, never mind. our last spawn, no, not a shiny Swablu. That will do it, so we're right Whatever we get right now, remember we lost a Sneasel and we lost a Spin Rack, so minus two. Oh, a legendary Badoof spawn, nice. Also, don't forget that the incense started like a minute late for no reason, so 19 Pokemon, but the back-to-back -back of Gengar and Rhyperior was crazy. Makes the incense so fun to use when I get stuff like that, bro, I'm not gonna lie, it's, ah, oh, it makes me excited. Like now I wanna just fast forward to tomorrow and pop the incense tomorrow, but Gengar and Rhyperior, pretty gosh darn amazing. Definitely worked towards the uh, research there, so that was awesome, but let's check the IVs here. Oh, that's the Arcan. Okay, that scared me. Um, let's see. Okay, Gengar was pretty good and Rhyperior sucked, but it was still very, very awesome to get those. Some of my greatest spawns, honestly. I love those. Hopefully they, ooh, right horn. Hopefully they start, um, I don't know, cycling through incense spawns and adding more and changing stuff up. A lot of 15s, but no hundos for me today. Well, all right. I think at our next adventure, we're going to go ahead and battle Giovanni and get Shadow Reggie Rock. I think so. Why not, right? I'm excited to do so. Maybe I'll have one of these researches done by then, too. Uh, we'll have to find out. But some awesome announcements and some awesome moments today. GGs. Let's go.